what is going on tube you we are back baby it is the next day finally put the little hp tuners what is it mpv mpv1 mpv1 i3 mpv i i don't know put this little guy to use uploaded the the, the, the hot tune or whatever all power unlock let's go to it yesterday so my if you guys remember we were only seeing like five pounds of boost all of that should be corrected now we are live baby everything's in track so i guess the tables were inverted and that's why i was only seeing five pounds of boost it was trying to keep me in 500 horsepower mode so it was bleeding off boost like crazy and uh now we got all we got all the beans got all the beans i don't like my set this up real quick because this got reset when the battery died died uh, we'll keep it in track mode and that's what i really like and suspension for street that's the only thing i really changed i kind of like a weighted steering wheel i don't like it too soft and stuff that's that's usually what my custom mode looks like guys if you're if you're wondering that's what it looks like because i like to play with the paddles of course i like it in track mode um however when i'm driving around i do keep it in normal mode but that's why it was you know looking kind of crappy right there because seven you guys remember yesterday 797 was up here and 1022 was down here i was like that's weird uh, I've never seen it like that before. Every, everyone I've seen has had big horsepower mode up here, but we are good. We are live. I'm just letting it warm up a little bit. Let the idle come down. It looks like it's down. So let's go for a little cruise, man. We should be good. We should be good. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and open this so I can watch the boost. There we go. Boost control over there. Things are about to start flying. You see, I got my dragon with me. I should probably plug, plug this freaking radar up, but we're, I don't plan on going too crazy. Maybe not. We'll see. All right, so here's what they sound like, just cruising along under 2K or right at 2K. You don't hear them. You don't hear them at all. <laughs> just a little blip. Yeah, this shit about to fly. This shit about to fly. This, this, this ain't even the same car I drove yesterday, man. This shit about to fly. That 500 horsepower mode was hell, boy. That shit was really bleeding boots all the way down to five pounds. It's crazy. Oh, Ram truck flying up on me. Let me go ahead and let him get back. He clearly got somewhere to go. Jesus Christ. I'm just cruising, man. I'm just trying to hear the noises. Listen to it, man. You don't hear a thing. Yeah, go ahead, bud. You got it. Let me roll the window down. I'm telling you, look how unassuming it is. You can't hear it, but the minute you get next to me, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, boy, this shit about to go crazy. I'm just waiting for the trains to get up to temp, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. I just wanted to show you guys what it sounded like just cruising along, not in the boost. I'm telling you, the, the turbo, you can't hear them. You can't hear them. Trans temp still a little low, but let it get up just a little bit. Good thing it's a warm day out, or about to be a warm day because it's already freaking 122. So I'm just cruising all the way out. Make a couple blips out here. Not go too crazy, but man, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this ain't even the same car I drove yesterday. I want to. I don't want to get into it just now because I don't. I didn't have time to warm up the transmission, but. So I went down there intending to make a couple rips and I made one pull and there was a cop sitting up on the overpass So I'm glad I shut down when I did I literally made one pull and didn't even catch it on camera But we'll, we'll give you a little rip right here a little rip of Roni Third gear These damn keys now Spinning the whole way, did y'all see that? You see that damn trash control going crazy? Land 11s Land 11s. Trash control going crazy, boy. Land 11s. Yeah, I might need a drag pack, folks. <laughs>
Alright two of you, so we're back in the garage now. I'm sorry guys, I really wanted to talk and drive at the same time, but when I was trying to make those rips, man, I'm trying to pay attention to the road, make sure everything's good, make sure the car's good, make sure I'm in the right setting, check boost at the same time. It was just too much going on and I couldn't be sitting there recording. As a matter of fact, the one time that I held up the camera to try to get a clip for Instagram, um, I went to hit it in third gear and she just 11s across the freaking street, straight into the other lane. I had to pull it back, tried to get back into it, but I just shut it down. I'm not about to go out here and freaking die. Just make it some random pulls for instagram i'm sorry but other than that the car's freaking flying man the car is freaking flying let me get in here and show you guys real quick so if you remember in the last video um uh, i thought the car was in valet mode not gonna lie to you so turns out <laughs> pretty funny so he thought the car was in valet mode that you activate in here because i told him to do that before he left i don't want them revving on my car and doing all sorts of crazy stuff like you guys saw when he tried to unload it all right but you're a little loud Turn that off. So if you guys remember in the last video, we went out there, 1,022 horsepower mode was down here. Um, don't pay attention to that number, regardless if you make 1,200, 13, 14, it doesn't matter. 1,022 is the highest you can set it, so that's usually what they set it to when they, when they mod these cars. So don't pay attention to that number. All right, why are you still beeping? Can you not? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So 1,022 horsepower mode was down here and 797 was up here. And he was thinking, because I wasn't sending pictures and I wasn't on the phone with him, um, he was thinking that valet mode was just still active. So go back, drive modes. He was thinking that I put it into here, let's just do all once. He was thinking that this was going on. He was like, it's still in valet mode, so it's bleeding boost, yada, 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 you need to disable valet mode. I'm like, okay, cool. I go in there, I'm like, it's not, it's not active like there's there's no valet mode there was there's nothing on the screen so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna go back so if it was in valet mode that's what it looks like up top that wasn't there if you go to hit the srt you pull all that stuff up all right you hit srt mode same thing and ask you for your pin number we just you saw we just did ones so put the ones back in there valet mode deactivated that's what it would say none of that was there so i was like okay so he must have did a valet mode. Because I know with HP, you can technically bake in a, a valet mode tune and upload that if you want somebody. If your car doesn't come with a valet mode, you can upload a valet mode tune in HP. And I went to the HP screen or the HP app page and it had it right there. I was like, oh, so he probably just, you know, uploaded a valet tune. Okay, that's pretty smart. So I'm thinking he just uploaded a valet mode tune. So I'm like waiting for him to tell me, like, how the fuck you disable it, man? How you, how you do that? And he's just waiting for my dumb ass to disable the valet mode. So I'm just like, all right, I think we're confused here. So I sent him a picture on exactly what I was looking at. So in custom mode, let's go to it, custom mode setup. You guys remember 1022 was down here in yellow and 797 was up here in red. Everything was available in the 797 mode. But the minute I click 1022, it went to street, which I thought was odd. Like, why would it let me go to street mode? So I know whenever they have these uh, high horsepower builds, they want you in sport or track mode so you because they want all of the pressure in the transmission. After sitting here playing around with it, going back and forth, I finally started sending pictures and stuff like that. And he sent over a tune file. He was like, all right, now uh, see what happens when you upload this file. Because I was thinking that we could just force it out of valet mode and everything would be good to go. So I did how HP you know, was supposed to do. I uploaded everything, uh, loaded it all up, and went over here, and it was still stuck how it was. So I was like, man, what the hell? And then he asked, he was like, well, what happens in 797 mode? So if you click 797, um, is everything available? I was like, yeah, if I click 797, everything is in track, everything's available. If I go to custom setup, and I sent him a video of all this. If I go to custom setup, oop. I click 797 mode and everything's available again. So I was like, I think your tables are inverted. I think the tables are inverted. And he sent me the screenshot, sure enough, they were inverted. So in HP, they were swapped. So 797 was the full horsepower mode. So I should have been running in that yesterday when I was trying to get you guys clips and stuff. And the 1022 mode was actually the 500 horsepower mode. So it was black key mode. So I was like, ain't that bad a bitch. The simplest things, but it was an easy fix. We went out there, you guys saw the video, man. We made a bunch of rips and stuff like that. Nothing sounded crazy. That fuel pump is loud. I'm not gonna lie, just back there, just I'm like, all right, whatever. Fuel filters right up under my foot. But other than that, I, I can't complain, man. Like I said, I tried to record for you guys, but trying to keep this damn thing in a straight line on just the, the, the regular street tires, 
Uh, these are Mickey Thompson Street SS. That's why I was so blown away at how easy they're just blowing them off, man. Just blowing the lemons down the street. We're not going to have much tread left, guys. I'm telling you. We're just doing rolling burnouts. Rolling burnouts. You can see the tires freaking feathering. You can feel it. Jesus Christ. But anywho, I'm pretty happy with it, man. Like I said, it's still in the low boost setting. I don't want to go out there running and ripping and everything until we figure out how to use that boost controller. But we did go out there. We did. We worked with what we had. He said it was good to rip on how it was. And um, as far as turning it up, I, I think this is a pretty safe level. And with the car being exactly where my old car was, because my old car made around the same PSI. So about 17 to 18 pounds of boost is what my old car made. And I did a 6.2. I went out there with this car and it tied that 6.2 instantly in the middle of the freaking day. So, with with the heat, that old car was like perfect conditions, cold as night, flat as road, and it went out there and just did a, it, it. It took all of that to do a 6.2, and this car went out there, did it on a street tire. I mean, it's a radial, but it's still on the 20 inch street tire, damn near full interior. Show you again, damn near full interior. And it just knocked it out in the middle of the freaking day. 4,000 foot DA. <laughs> yeah, this thing's going to rip. This thing's going to rip. Once I, once I get this boost controller dialed in, this thing is going to be insane. All right, YouTube views. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, man. I still have to talk to Tim about the boost controller, like I said, so we can make sure everything's good and kosher. We went out there. That was still the low boost setting, so around 17 to 18 pounds of boost. And uh, I, I can't wait to really get out here and turn this thing up, man. So I'm just waiting on him to get time to, in his day. It should be sometime today. Um, we can go over how to properly use the boost controller. And I have a couple of other questions. I want to make sure that I'm not doing you know, this wrong or, or make sure I'm doing this right. Because like I said, this is my first turbo build, first turbo Hellcat first turbo anything that I've ever freaking had so I want to make sure everything's good and kosher before I go out here really really beating on it taking it to the track day and doing all sorts of crazy stuff with it so I'm gonna refill it back up because he did mention make sure it's above half that was pretty much the same that was pretty much standard from my last Hellcat make sure it's above halfway when you're going out here making pools and stuff obviously you could drive it below that but I wouldn't do it too often because you know those fuel pumps can burn up easily especially when especially those strong ass ones and I definitely wouldn't make him pull wouldn't be making pools anywhere below halfway so got some extra ignite i'm gonna throw that in there get it back above the halfway point hopefully and other than that um yeah that's all i got for you guys man i hope you guys enjoyed those clips uh, it was damn sure fun getting out there but like i said i really wanted to record so you guys can see from my pov but hopefully the insta 360 will do justice for it but i i couldn't record and drive and focus on everything else going on i'm trying to pay attention to sounds i'm trying to pay attention to the road trying to keep the damn car straight trying to see what it's doing it was just too much i'm sorry i couldn't record as much as i thought i was going to record but don't worry the insta 360 was running and that did catch everything so that's the pov you guys will probably see but other than that that's all I got, man. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you guys get a notification when these videos go up. So went to the Instagram channel at low through substance slow. All one word. I'll put it down in the description. Until next time, to you, I'm out. Peace.